Hey folks, it's Dustin with Starship Commando Ryan Spur. Today we're going to cover a few different things. kind of want to do a follow-up on the last video I did on optimization because we made a lot of improvements and I want to showcase the difference. And I want to address a few comments we got in the last few weeks. And I also want to talk about a little bit of a bugbear in the industry right now. Unless you're just getting out of the DeLorean, uh, you've probably heard about Randy Pitchford's little Twitter meltdown. If you don't know, he's the Gearbox CEO. But there was one post that he made in particular that really caught my attention. He said, write your own engine and show us how it's done and we'll buy your game. Hakuna Matata, bitches. Well, first of all, I really need as many people as possible to buy this game, so I hope he takes me up on that offer because we're going to go ahead and show how we can make our own game. Now, caveat, of course, I, I didn't write the engineer. This is just Unity, but uh, to be fair, neither did Randy because they just used Unreal 5 to make Borderlands 4. So it's a bit of a moot point, right? I want to show that optimization is not something that's outside the realm of possibility. You know, we're talking about we're a four-person team here. Okay, running tech alpha and then into our pre-alpha here, our pre-release alpha, where I feel like we're getting very close to pretty high performance. Uh, and we still have a lot of room to go. You know, you're, you're still going to see bugs here. You're still going to see certain performance drops and stuff like that. But it's important to understand that when a developer is telling you, oh, we didn't have the time. I remember when I had my first beer or you should just upgrade your hardware or whatever that's all uh, you should just ignore that remember when i had my first beer do you even know what that means i'm gonna punch you in the concussion right and i don't want to get any more aggressive than that because it doesn't matter but if i can do it and i'm just a guy a random guy in his home office doing this then i'm pretty sure a, a hundred person 200 person studio with all kinds of money can do it okay and the reality is that these poorly optimized games they get rushed out the door and then they just get patched over the the following six months or so and that's that's sort of the game plan of the industry right just release it as soon as possible hit that that marketing window and then we'll just we'll just fix it in post or whatever you know joke you want to make uh, with that out of the way we're going to take a look at how we've improved since the last video I talked about with optimization. We're going to do the whole deal with all the ships again. And this actually is related to another point. Uh, we had a commenter by the name of Trazin the Infinite say, Unity simply isn't an engine that handles mass action well. Peaches and cream. Okay, well, uh, let's just see about that. Because, see, in the last video, I made a point to say that it was uh, pretty poorly optimized at that time. And we did a whole lot of ships in that scene in our sort of asteroid field derelict environment. And we're going to just basically repeat that test, and I'm going to show you that we've made huge improvements. Okay, both in sort of 1% lows and average frame rate and just the, the way that the game plays. I've just finished a, a huge refactor. I had a video about that where I talked about uh, changing the architecture under the hood. That was creating some limitations, and, and we've We've made a lot of uh, really good improvements there. So here we go. This is our setup right here. And what is this? This is like 25 ships uh, because I'm not actually in either of these lists. So you got to count my ship too. So this is 25 and we're going to go ahead and hit derelict because that's our most complicated scene. And now we'll hit start. Okay, great. So here we are. Uh, and so right away, right, like I, I just finished talking about how there's still going to be bugs. Immediately upon joining the scene, there's too many objectives on the UI. That's okay. I just need to go fix that. So before somebody jumps in the comments, oh my god, this guy doesn't know how to arrange a UI. Do you think I'm stupid? Of course you're stupid, Brendan. First of all, the UI is, uh, you know, an in-work thing, and we're, we're trying to focus on engine and gameplay and things like that, and we have some things are in place as a prototype, so just remember that, right? And really, not None of that matters because you know I'm not saying that as a customer you need to be worried about how hard it is to make games or any of that. But it's the hard knock life for us. Just remember that everything is subject to change, and we are listening to feedback. So we'll just uh, play through this here, and you can see on screen I've placed the um, the little Unity statistics analyzer that I have access to when I'm in play mode. And remember that this is actually executing from within the editor, so there is a three or four millisecond overhead running it in the editor. So we do lose a little bit of performance just running it inside the editor, but I want to draw your attention to the fact that this is running at a pretty smooth 60 FPS right now, and we do have a fair amount of action going on. Unity is definitely an engine that can handle mass action. 100% is. In the previous video, we're 
where we had poor optimization, I actually pointed out that it was due to AI. The NPC code was not running very well, and I dug into that and I rewrote it. Uh, so now all of these AI are taking up about, I don't know, a quarter of a millisecond, something like that. So a highly optimized NPC code now. And so it, it isn't that Unity can't handle mass action, it's that bad code cannot handle mass action. And I'm willing to accept responsibility for having written bad code in the first place, which is why I rewrote it, okay? I don't, I'm not ashamed to say that that iteration of AI was was uh, bad, okay? So we rip it out and we redo it. It's all good. So we're down to 0.25 millisecond on AI code with, what are we, with 30 actors here. Uh, and another big hot path is weapons, because weapons do a lot of line of sight calculations and ray casting, uh, intercept calculations, stuff like that. So that's uh, another point. Um, weapons stick up maybe in this scene right now is two and a half milliseconds. So uh, there is definitely some room for improvement there. Uh, and then of course rendering just takes a long time. This is um, 1440p uh, with MSAA at 4x and post-processing and everything else. But as you can see this is running way better than it was in our last evaluation. We had another commenter, Michael Morford, says those missile trajectories look laughable. A laser defense system should have no problem picking each of them off. Okay, fair enough. I actually read that comment, and I said, okay, well, let's take a look at the missile trajectories. And I agree, they were too straight, too boring. So I've gone ahead and adjusted how the missiles behave with their trajectories. They now take a bit more of a winding approach to the target and so this is an important thing that i want to talk about is taking feedback even when that feedback can seem like it's negative we could easily just read every comment that's positive and go great pat ourselves on the back and keep moving forward doing whatever we want but i think it's important to look even at the negative feedback whether it's constructive criticism or more kind of snarky negative feedback i think you can still glean things even when somebody isn't really being nice to you you can still listen to what they have to say i took that comment and I made some adjustments and I like it. And then we have one final comment here that I want to address that I don't even know why I just don't understand at all. We have a Space Dad 42 says, it would be nice if devs put a little freaking pride in graphics. This looks like late 90s era stuff. Okay. Now you dog blasted ornery no account long eared barber. I just want you guys in the audience to use your critical thinking skills, evaluate whether or not this game looks like it's late 90s, or if it looks like it's maybe a bit, at least a bit better than that. <laughs> I mean, I can understand um, maybe a criticism saying, oh, this maybe this looks maybe like 2010s. Sure, absolutely, right? Uh, we're, again, four people. Uh, we're not trying to make a game that has just absolute blockbuster AAA graphics. Um, but I would also remind you that the games that are coming out with the best graphics right now are also the games that have some of the worst gameplay. You know, we're not going to name names or go on a smear campaign, but uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, you know, graphics aren't everything. It hurts my feelings a little that you would say that I don't have pride in my work. There's been questions like, uh, is the demo coming out on Steam? The answer is yes. When is this game going to fully release? Uh, when it's done? That's my best answer. I'm not going to say a date because uh, that's a great way to shoot yourself in the foot. As for, like, will you introduce X, Y, and Z feature? Well, we're always open to feedback, as I hope I have shown in this video so far. We do read every comment, because right now there's not an insane volume of comments to read. It's, it's pretty manageable. And as the developer, I frequently look at things like this missile trajectory thing, and I say, well, you know, it would only take me like 10 minutes to try out something else. Even though the tone of that comment wasn't very nice, like I said. This is really funny. Really funny. What do you mean I'm funny? It still gave me a great idea to try something new, and I like the result of it, so... Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've got more to come as we move along. i got more stuff to show off soon. I'll probably talk about uh, giving orders to allied ships when I get that system figured out. Because that's kind of the next thing, is being able to tell your allied ships what to do. Oh yes, sir! Pretty important when you're commanding the fleet, right? Stay tuned. If you like what you see, give us a like, a comment, a subscribe. And also, um, you got to hit the little bell thing. I know that's like yet another thing that all the YouTubers say, right? But seriously, you, you do have to do it. Like, it won't show you the videos unless you do. Join a Discord. Bother me if you want. Bother the other guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.